All right, Pisces. Pisces, you got number 59, Wild Violet. So, first of all, the obvious, um, I see romance. I see love. Like, this is a week of love and romance. And don't let yourself get too swept away, but also allow yourself to get a little swept away in this. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm getting a really love vibe, you know? Like, this is a very steamy <laughs> energy. So, do do allow the love and everything. But I'm also seeing a little bit of a communication test. Um, a a, a miscommunication so and it's not a whole lot it's not a big thing but it could turn into a big thing so don't allow a miscommunication to turn into a big thing tend to your miscommunications so that they don't turn into a big thing and understand that any miscommunications that come up are not a big thing unless you turn it into one and you can you can find the solutions you've got to be willing to Take a step back, take a deep breath, find your calm, and then move forward in a loving, compassionate way, seeing their side. And it's, I see it, it's an easy, easy to overcome miscommunication that will happen. It's just like a bump on the road. Other than that, this week is full of love and romance. I mean, for you single Pisces, I see someone is coming in and um, definitely be willing to open up, you know, of course, trust yourself and, and trust the situation. But if, if you're getting a lot of green flags, then go with it. Open yourself to love, allow yourself to be perked up into this love. And, um, yeah, allow yourself to just be loved because I see you being loved Pisces and you deserve it. You deserve this love. And for the Pisces that are not single, I see like, you know, like perking up, like I see this perking up of love. So I see relationships coming more together. And it might be that, you know, this little bump in the road miscommunication happens with your partner, but you're able to smooth it out. And then the smoothing out causes you guys to just love each other even more. You know, all relationships have conflicts. All relationships have conflicts. But some relationships let that conflict kill them. Other relationships let that conflict build them. And it's up to the people in the relationship how they use it. And Pisces, I see you having the opportunity to let a minor miscommunication conflict reignite the spark of love within your romantic relationships this week. Or just a miscommunication and being able to overcome it with love and compassion helps you move forward to be able to love and trust the new love that's coming into your life. Take what resonates the most for you, Pisces. But yes, this, you are worth it. You are so worth it. I see someone trying to wine and dine you and you are worth the love. You're worth it. They're loving you because you are so beautiful and you are so lovable. And just allow yourself to be loved because you truly, truly, truly deserve it, Pisces. And I'm so happy for you and I hope that you enjoy your romantic week of love. All right, Pisces, that's the message I got for you this week. If you liked it, please hit that like button. Otherwise, take what resonates, leave the rest, and be blessed.